Hi everyone and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this video I will show you three quick and easy steps to giving your image a fine art finish. And the best part about it is that it will take you less than 5 minutes to achieve. So let's begin! So the first thing I want to do is duplicate my background layer and I will rename this SNH which is short for shadows and highlights. I'll then go to Images, Adjustments, and I'll click on the Shadows and Highlights. And that will open up the Shadows and Highlights Adjustment Panel. And this is where I'm going to enhance my Shadows and Highlights and adjust them as desired. And that's looking good, so I'll press OK. And now I've noticed there's a halo that's been created around the subject, and that's due to the high contrast that was created from bumping up the shadows and highlights. So what I'm going to do is choose a round soft brush, make sure it's on black, and I'm going to paint over those areas and remove them. I will adjust the flow and opacity of my brush as desired, and I will be changing that as I am working throughout the image. So I want to make sure that I am working on my layer mask and I make sure that this is selected. And just one more adjustment to my opacity. And I start painting over the edges to remove the halos. Even though the halos are not very visible at this moment, they will become very obvious once we sharpen our image, which is the last part of editing. So it's very important to remove it now to give us a nice and flawless look right at the end. Okay, so that's looking good. I now want to create a vignette effect and I do that by adding a new adjustment layer. Go to Gradient Fill and open up the Gradient panel. Select the black and white gradient, hit OK. And change the style to Radial, reverse that. And now what I want to do is decrease the effect. Yep. Now what you can do is click inside the canvas and you can position it any way you like. And hit OK. Now click on the layer mask to select it. And with a big black brush, change the opacity and start painting over the areas that you want to remove the vignette. So I'm just going to remove it off the edges as I don't like it to look too dark and remove it off my subjects and also on the highlighted areas. Okay, so now this is done, I'm going to create a final layer, which is a merged layer, and I'm going to sharpen my image. I go to Filter, Sharpen, Smart Sharpen. So I'll just zoom it in a bit. And I will pull down both the amount and radius and bring them up slightly and make sure you're looking at the canvas, look here, and adjust it as you desire. Hit OK, before and after, and as we can see, there is a halo that's very noticeable around the edges of our subjects. So what I'm going to do is create a layer mask, and I'm going to choose a round black brush, reduce the opacity, and start painting over the edges exactly the same as what we did in the previous step. Okay, so that's looking good. Let's take a look at the before and after, before all of the adjustments and after. 
And there you go, a very quick and easy way to creating a fine art finish to your images in just three simple steps that were accomplished in less than five minutes. I really hope you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section. And please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified of my next video. I will see you next time. Bye.